NorCloud is the Norsonic web platform for acquiring, analyzing and reporting data from your sound level meters. Here we see measurement data of one full day. NorCloud has the ability to present your data in a map. In this case, we have a sensor placed at the Norsonic headquarter in Norway. The sensor is a NOR145 with integrated 4G modem and an outdoor microphone with a noise compass attached. The directional information is immediately shown in the map. We can define our own sectors to visualize what is happening. A sector is defined by a name, a quality threshold, which is a number between 0 and 1, where 1 represents a clear indication of direction, and a color. The horizontal and vertical limits make up a full 3D sector. The horizontal range is from 0 to 360 degrees and the vertical range is from minus 90 representing down to plus 90 degrees representing up. You can set your sectors with a resolution of down to 1 degree. You can define as many sectors as you like and they may also overlap. When entering the limits, the result is immediately shown in the map. Now let's remove these two sectors and define some proper ones. Norsonic headquarter is located near a road, as you can see here on the map. We'll use a quality threshold of 0.7 and red color to indicate road noise. We will input some angles and see if they match the map. I slightly adjust the starting angle to 150 instead of 100. The microphone is mounted on a pole so we'll use a vertical range from minus 40 to 0 degrees to represent the road sector. Remember that the sector is now a full 3D definition. Just below the noise compass, there is a ventilation fan mounted outside the office building. So we will add one sector for this one as well. We'll use a blue color to indicate this. The horizontal range will be 0 to 360 degrees and a very limited vertical range from minus 90 to minus 60 degrees. When we hover over the level versus time data, we'll see that the sectors will light up once the conditions for the defined sectors are met. In this case, heavy road traffic. With 125 milliseconds resolution, the graph is now heavily compressed and we need to zoom in to gain more information. In the early morning, we can see that there is road noise present. A car is slowly passing by and you can actually see the vehicle move. If we open the detailed view, we can investigate further. Here we have no detection until the sound level increases and we get the clear indication of the car passing by. Notice the quality indicator at the right-hand side of the picture. Please also note that the further we zoom in, the better the noise indication will be. In this case, we can still zoom in more to gain more detail. In this case, it seems that actually two vehicles are passing by. Let's go back and see the full day view. We zoom in to the part where the traffic is increasing. The measurement is mostly dominated by vehicle noise. But we can also see that our ventilation fan has been running for about 5 minutes, clearly indicated here by the direction down and the blue sector. The rest of the measurement at this time here is dominated by road traffic noise. At about 9.15, the ventilation fan has been switched on and we can see that there is mostly steady noise. Sometimes it seems to be interrupted by some higher levels. This is probably road noise. We will zoom in to something which looks like car noise. The red sector verifies that this is the case.
Please contact your local Norsonic distributor to get more information on our new innovative noise monitoring solutions. Thank you for watching.